The Proposal by Anton Chekhov is a one-act play. How far is it? A one-act play. A one-act play is a singular, a different literary genre. It's not that a one-act play is an abridged version of a multi-act drama or play. It's not a concentrated form of a full-fledged full -fledged play. For, for becoming a one-act play, it must have a single dominating situation is the first criteria. A one act play will have a single terminating situation and will produce a single terminating effect on the readers and the mind of the audience. And there must be a well knit structure of it. But the Characters will not be multi-dimensional characters, not full pleasant characters. They will be rather static and unipolar, unidimensional or monodimensional characters. But in respect of the development of one act play, there must be clear exposition and clear conflict, crisis and denma. And there must be also a clear and um, um, ostensible unity of time, action, and place. Considering all these basic criteria of a monarch play, we have to judge whether this one, this, the proposal by Anton Chekhov is a one-act play. This play is a very famous one both at the time of the author and also at our time in this day. And the story of this one act play is well chosen to give the comic effect on the minds of the readers and the audience. It has become a successful first and also a successful satire. And it has become successful also as a one-act play because here we find the fulfillment of all the necessary characteristics of a one-act play. The exposition of this one-act play, the proposal is well mm, felt. Lomov comes to the house of the Cebu cubs in order to give a marriage proposal. This is the exposition and the seat in the drawing room of the Subukov family. This is the exposition. And the single effect and the single situation that we find pervading the drama, means play, is, uh, is there. The single situation is the situation of marriage proposal. This is the uh, 
primary aim of the principal characters to give a final effect to the marriage proposal to give it a successful form but there are other situations like the situations of quarrel the situations of a fainting the situations of a hysterics the situation of loud expression of disappointment all those situations of different characters are there but the primary situation is always a flowing alive in the minds of these three characters and it's clearly understood and felt by the readers and also by the audience so in respect of its primary criteria the single situation the situation of marriage proposal is well maintained and the effect the single effect that this one act play produces is the effect of amusement is the effect of ridicule is the effect of comic fan is the effect of satire all these are related items of a single thing that is comedy <clears throat> and readers feel the single effect when they read this one and uh, the moments the situations um, are there the absurd situations are there where the readers laugh at the characters they um, give uh, they take amusement of the situations the absurd situations the characters create so in respect of this also uh, it is well maintained and it adds to the making of this drama a uh, one act play and the characters they are not well developed they are monopolar all of them are the representative characters of the feudal society of 18th century russia and that society mm, was a society of materialism um, the representatives of those, that society uh, were people of mm, having no morality uh, no sense of caste they are running after material gains they are acquisitive creeds and their <clears throat> a lack of a uh, civil senses so these characters mm, start and end with the single mm, si single characteristic traits so they are not well developed characters and mm, while in the developmental uh, discussion we find that uh, the exposition um, the conflict the climax the denma uh, that should be in a one act play uh, are all well kept or, or they are all there uh, the starting of this drama means the exposition is well introduced um, uh, starting is well because Mm, Lomov comes to the house of the Sabukov mm, in the evening dress, uh, and all of them they sit in the drawing room of the mm, Sabukov family, and this exposition mm, is well accepted by the readers because uh, they are going to mm, discuss on the single topic. and most important topic of marriage proposal that lom of six <clears throat> to give and though so, so, such uh, in this way the exposition is well maintained then the mm, conflict a conflict mm, is well seen well mm, felt uh, 
uh, by the readers because um, when Lomov departs from uh, the house of the Sibukov, uh, the conflict between the daughter and the uh, father and the daughter Subukov and Natalia starts and um, there is also conflict uh, between the characters of uh, Lomov and uh, Natalia because uh, both of them uh, have a single item, single point in their mind that is marriage but as they start quarreling and um, uh, Lomov uh, gives himself uh, in a way so as to prove himself a person suffering from ailments this is the crisis in the implementation of the marriage or marriage proposal. So the crisis is there, uh, the crisis between daughter and the father, a crisis between the two persons, means the persons who are going to marry or give proposal for marriage. So crisis is there and after the return of the um, after the return of uh, Lomov again uh, to the house of the Sabukov, uh, the climax starts. Climax means uh, the all the absurd situations are going to end in a climax because marriage proposal will be accepted and marriage will be solemnized. This is the um, climax. And it is also their climax is well enjoyed by the readers. And the dramatist uh, Anton Chekhov is uh, proving himself an expert man of literature. Because in this short span, um, one act play, he was successful in giving what the audience and the readers wanted and the after the marriage solemnization of marriage the denma and it is very um, a short um, staying uh, and sometimes it is hard to understand where the denma starts but after the marriage the Mm, couple uh, is well settled it is expected that they, they will settle uh, but how they will settle uh, is a question so this is the final part and their starting of another life is a denma so mm, while we judge a one act play mm, in respect of the principal and the the salient features and characteristics we find that Anton Chekhov um, was very careful in keeping um, all the characteristics of a successful one act play in his play The Proposal and um, the unity of action, unity of time, unity of place is also there.